Hi folks, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is part four, our secret soil and growing mixture video. Now, we know that you are probably curious, and the very first question you have in your mind is what is in this very secret soil that he talks about? Here is a hint for you. We refer to our secret soil as PMS3. You're probably saying now, that doesn't help one little bit because now I want to know what PMS3 is. Well, without giving away too much here at the beginning of the video, all we can say is welcome back folks and thank you so much for returning to our YouTube channel. Betty and I are always humbled when you return to watch our videos. And when you like our videos and when you leave comments, it encourages us to make more videos. And of course, when you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner, why that really excites us. And we really truly appreciate you subscribing to our YouTube channel, Gary Betty Leap, The Old Church, Five Acre Homestead. And with all of that said, let's get started. The P in our PMS3 stands for peat. And peat, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the main ingredients in our secret soil. And thank goodness it is readily available for free. Many people with their shovels in hand and buckets gather this growing medium from the sides of highways. It is a very good medium for growing fruits and vegetables and herbs, ladies and gentlemen. And did I say free? It certainly is. And that is a word that this frugal farmer likes to hear. Now, if you're not able to gather peat from the sides of highways, it can be purchased from many, many nurseries and of course, from the big box stores as well. It is packaged in large bales and is rather inexpensive. And I did say that it is a great growing compound or growing medium. And as an excellent growing medium, it does have several advantages and benefits. Peat has the ability to hold on to nutrients in the soil, ladies and gentlemen. Peat also retains water. And this is wonderful benefits for your plants. And did I say it's free? I'm thinking I might have forgot to say that. Too funny, folks. A little attempt on my part to add a bit of humor. This picture shows two large gray garbage containers, a black garbage container, and several five gallon buckets full of peat that I gathered from the side of the highway near my home here in Gander, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Canada. And all together, folks, within the soil in my raised vegetable beds and within the soil in my greenhouse, I added about 50 five gallon buckets of peat. And except for my time and the use of my pickup, getting and using the peat in our garden was absolutely free. This now brings us to the M in our PMS3. And the M stands for manure, an excellent growing compound that can also be acquired absolutely free. However, free manure comes with caution. You will really need to stay away from fresh manure. Manure that has been recently shoveled from the chicken coop or from the barn. As it can be really harmful to your young plants. Fresh manure contains high levels of ammonia and nitrogen. And both will kill your young plants. It is best to use manure that has been left for at least one full year or more. This will give the manure time to naturally decompose and compost. And you can of course buy composted manure at any of the nurseries or big box stores. Cow, sheep and chicken manure are very popular. And you might recall that I was able to acquire my composted chicken manure with the help of Logan, Faith, and Ethan, three former students of mine. 
And this now brings our discussion to the S3 in our PM S3 secret soil mixture. And the first of the three S's in our secret soil stands for seaweed. And folks, if you are near a beach, as we are here at the old church, Five Acre Homestead, well, there's lots of this seaweed available. And in the springtime, many people spend hours gathering seaweed from the beaches and shores near where they live and add this seaweed to their vegetable gardens. It most certainly is a tradition here in Newfoundland and Labrador. And seaweed does have many benefits to your vegetable, fruit and herb gardens. And as you walk with me on the beach near the old church, allow me to discuss those benefits. One known benefit of using seaweed in your garden is that it helps to control weeds. After being washed and cleaned in fresh water, seaweed can be dug directly into the soil. It can also be placed around some young plants. It can also be used as a mulch around raised vegetable beds and other vegetable beds as well. And due to the eye salt content in seaweed, it repels slugs and other garden pests. There are additional benefits of using seaweed in your garden as well. Seaweed is naturally high in both potassium and nitrogen. Nutrients loved by most fruit, vegetable and herb plants. And when washed seaweed is tilled directly into the soil in your raised vegetable beds or in the soil in your greenhouse, it helps to aerate and loosen the soil. And let's not forget another benefit of using seaweed. It is available absolutely free for gardeners. This now brings us to the second S, sawdust. And not just any sawdust will do, and certainly not the sawdust that you see in this clip. New, fresh, or raw sawdust is very acidic and dangerous to most fruit, vegetable, and herb plants. It should not be tilled directly into your soil. But composted sawdust can be directly tilled into your fruit, vegetable, and herb gardens. And that is what I'm doing here, folks. I am adding composted sawdust directly into my raised vegetable beds, sawdust that have been left to decompose for about four years. Again, and as a reminder, please do not use raw sawdust directly into your garden beds. But here is an idea for raw or fresh sawdust. Because of the acidic content, it is great for controlling weeds between garden beds and for making garden paths. This now brings us to the third and final S in our PM S3 secret soil. And this final S actually stands for soil, soil that has been enriched. Enriched with potassium, phosphorus, and nitrogen, and other trace nutrients needed for soil. And this enriched soil is often referred to as humus or topsoil. And it can be purchased at many nurseries and big box stores. And there you have it folks, a rather in-depth explanation and discussion into our secret soil and growing mixture. And we shall end this video with a short summary or explanation regarding our secret soil. In summary then, ladies and gentlemen, we refer to our soil as PMS3. The P stands for peat. And the M stands for manure. And ladies and gentlemen, folks, the three S's in our PMS3 stands for seaweed, and sawdust, but not just any sawdust, it must be composted sawdust. And our final S stands for soil, enriched soil for your vegetable, herb, and fruit gardens. Now, I want to thank you so much for watching our latest video. Please 
hit the like button, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gary Betty Lee, The Old Church, Five Acre Olmstead.